I'm Cape Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic book show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we are going to be taking a closer look at Superman Annual Issue Number One. When the Earth is in danger, Clark Kent will need to seek assistance from Swamp Thing. What'll happen next? Let's hop on in together and find out, shall we? So then, as we join the comic, we can clearly see Superman doing a little farming. Yeah, I know, right? Actually farming. This isn't some half-baked cover. He's actually taking this seriously as a job. Unfortunately, Clark doesn't seem to have the same green thumb Pa Kent had. Everything is dying, not just on his farm, but all over Hamilton County. He figures this is a real issue and so he tries to get to the bottom of it. While chasing the trail of this otherworldly drought, Superman ends up coming face to face with Dr. Alec Holland, aka Swamp Thing. Superman recognizes this guy right out of the gate, but Swamp Thing knows full well that this Superman isn't the same Superman that he once knew. What's really funny about this meeting is that Swamp Thing basically needs to explain the green A New 52 concept to an older 52 Superman. Basically for the uninitiated, the green is a matrix of life that brings together everything that is plant life. Furthermore to that, Swampy says that this new Superman is to blame for why everything in Hamilton County is dying, and the reason is actually really clever and really well done. As any comic nerd worth their salt can tell you, Superman, indeed all Kryptonians, draw their amazing superpowers from Earth's yellow sun. Only it would seem unlike the younger, less experienced, less powerful Superman, this older Superman actually is sucking down more sun juice in their for adding more sun radiation around himself. That's why nature is sick and dying in Hamilton County, and because Swamp Thing is a protector of the green and a warrior of the Parliament of Trees, he pretty much has to stomp Superman here and now. Well, okay, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Swamp Thing offers to fuse with Superman and more or less get him in line with what the New 52 Superman was doing. But as you might have guessed, Clark isn't exactly all gung-ho about fusing with an Earth elemental, especially one like this who he doesn't exactly know. This means the two men end up having a knockdown, dragout drag-out brawl, and while Superman may be incredibly powerful, Swamp Thing is on a whole other level. He is literally like fighting the very Earth itself. Holland eventually ends up forcing a fusion between himself and Superman, and in doing so, he's allowed to see into his mind. He realizes how this new Superman has adopted this Earth, and how this new Earth has adopted him in return, but for things to get back to the way they used to be, this Superman is going to need to cut ties with his old memories. Essentially, to put nature back in whack, Superman is going to need to be reborn via Swamp Thing so that he can once again truly be the Man of Tomorrow. And yeah, that's pretty much exactly what happens. Swamp Thing helps out Superman, life returns to Hamilton County, and Swampy even gives the Superman family a nice little keepsake. Superman Annual Number 1 is a great type of annual story, a nice little done-in-one with a beginning, middle, and end that sees two heroes who don't normally cross paths getting thrown together for one little adventure. I think in the hands of lesser writers, it would have been really easy for this new Superman to just become the Superman and have it never be mentioned again. I like the fact that this Superman isn't from this Earth continually comes up. And they managed to wring some really interesting, really compelling storylines out of it like this one. This isn't the first time the Man of Steel and the Man of the Swamp have crossed paths before, but I gotta say, I think this story will manage to stand shoulder to shoulder with a lot of real classics out there. Art's good, dialogue's good, yeah, this should definitely please the Superman fan and Swamp Thing fan in your life. This one's a winner. I give this one a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and while you're here, why not check out another video I have on offer, or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood, you want to like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please, by all means, check out the Cape Joel Patreon. A little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.